Now, I don't usually like building bases for more than about three to four people, but I decided to finally make something a bit larger than I'm used to, and I truly think you will all fall in love with this one. I present you guys with the Vortex, a multi-TC stronghold that has funnels, bunkers, a huge open core, offset angles, and more retakes than you'll ever imagine. And I'll show you more in the tour, so let's go quickly jump into that. Welcome everybody to the tour of the Vortex. Now, dropping off this disconnectable TC, we get the upkeep on one of the three disconnectables on this base design. 1,700 stone and 1,100 metal frags. Now, stepping out of here and coming to the disconnectable part, you're just going to place a roof and that will disconnect it from the main TC. And then reconnecting it with a frame just like this. And you will be all set. Stepping into the gatehouse, we get a peek off to the left with a window for door campers or whatever else is out there. And then we have a half height peeks into the compound, two of them on each side. These also can cover the furnace wall on the outside as well. Above here, we got a chain link covering a turret, and then we got some more drop boxes inside the compound. And then right here, we have a large furnace wall blocking any raiders, so if you do get raided from the outside and the compound walls get broken, the furnace actually blocks anybody from coming inside, which forces people to raid the actual furnace. And they could spend like six or seven rockets, and once that's broken, it upgrades more angles. So yeah, highly recommend that. Taking more into the compound, we get a nice little funnel here with shotgun traps, beds, lockers, everything you would need, and then another chain link turret above. Running around the compound, it is three-sided, so everything, all the furnace walls and everything, is all the same. Coming into the front door, this is a mini airlock with a peak out to the left in your funnel. And we have a full 360-degree shell with breach peaks, turrets, and beds all the way around. Breach peaks cover perfectly your bed compounds and everything in your funnels. Now stepping inside this airlock right here, this will take you directly to your huge open egg starter. And this will be the main upkeep on TC. 12,000 metal and 11,000 stone. Owl.gg is an online Rust gambling site with tons of exciting house games, like Jackpot, Blackjack, The Wheel, and Coin Flip. If house games aren't quite your thing, then you can use my code SECRET to play over 2,000 slots and live games. You can instantly deposit and withdraw with Rust skins, CSGO, TF2, Visa, PayPal, and Crypto. Howl also has a rain feature that gifts balance every 30 minutes to their on-site chat. Make sure to use my code SECRET to get a free $1 when signing up. Once again, thank you to Howl for sponsoring this video. Every deployable you'll ever need, boxes, beds, bags, and furnaces. Taking this jump up will get a nice little airlock peak for early game, and then taking this second story jump up up is the main open core of the base. You have plenty of boxes within the floor, inside the roofs, and these little four box loot rooms as well. And then right here I'll show you how this bunker works. If you break the twig build up, it will just create a full wall here, but then the second you place a twig triangle in the corner of this, it will open up a four box loot room. Now to the right of this, you have a nice little head glitch peek up, and it will give you an ankle biter onto the next shooting floor story. And then the last thing inside this is you have a nice little ladder hatch that goes all the way down into your core, so if you stick an F1 grenade into this while you're getting raided, it will go all the way and explode down into the core. Now taking the jump up out of the open core, you have a set of offset peaks inside the shooting floor. This allows you to not build any wide gaps out while having insane angles still in your shooting floor. You have a wide range of peaks and windows all the way around still as well. And taking this little section up, if you look behind these single doors, you will have an ankle biter retake up to the roof. Same thing will go all the way around, more boxes everywhere. You have a nice little ankle biter right here. And then right here you have a two bedroom and a locker inside of here with an ankle biter onto the roof. Amazing angles all around. And if you take this door out to the main roof, you will notice a very simple but effective roof with nine turrets and three windmills. You have some nice roof peaks off the actual base. But other than that, it is very, very simple and very cheap up here. I highly recommend, and I'll see you guys in the build tutorial. Thank you all for watching. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the build tutorial for the Vortex. Now, to start this build, you're going to want to place a square foundation just like this. And then put walls all around that. Put a roof on top of that, and then seal this off with a double door just like this. And you have your starter sealed, you can live out of here and place the boxes or bags or whatever you want inside of here. And now you can fit a lot inside this one by one starter and now you can live outside of it or you can expand out, which we're going to do right now. Start by placing a triangle foundation in the center and then two squares just like this. This is how it should look for now. And then we're going to create the full egg by placing square triangles all the way around. Should look like this. A full egg shell. 
And they're gonna wanna wall in everything all the way around until you get to this triangle right here, place a single door on top of that. And then finish walling in everything and you can seal in the rest of that. Now to the right of the door, you're gonna place a half wall and then a low wall. And then in front of that, place a single door to create the full airlock and then a roof on top of here. And of course, I recommend sealing off your front door. Putting a jump up here as well can give you an early game peek into your airlock. And then seal in the rest of the roofs other than this triangle right here. And then right here you can create your jump up, so just put two walls on the back side of here. A floor on top of that. And then a double door frame and seal that off with a double or single door. Coming back into the starter, on the right side and left side of this two triangles we can create a four box loot room by creating a shelf just like this. And then I recommend taking off this double door and creating it with a garage door. It gives you more space and yeah. Place whatever deployables you want inside of here. I'm just going to place the boxes for now and then we can place the bags and all the furnaces and stuff. Next we can place a tier 2 in this corner. Place a small box under there and then we can place the furnaces in this corner over here against this wall. And then inside this one by one if we pick up the bag and we pick up the furnace we can create another four box loot room on top. And you can convert this all if you delete these two boxes on the bottom. You can convert this into a full four box loot room. And I highly recommend this, but right now you don't have to do this. So you can just skip this and go to the next part of the video. And the last step for the starter is just spamming garage doors wherever you can. If you do have them, of course, I recommend doing it very early on because it's really hard to raid the space with a lot of doors on it. Now we're going to expand out to the shell and the compound and the breach peaks and everything before we build the second story because this is going to be your open core. So yeah, let's go out into the shell. And then to start your shell to the right of the door, you're going to want to place a square foundation, triangle, and then another square and upgrade all of these to stone. It should look like that. And then right in the center, in the center of this place, a triangle foundation. Leave this side open, and then this side will be open as well. Square to the right, and then you'll see that this is going to be the multi-TC breach peak part. Same thing, triangle, and then another square right here. Upgrade those. Same thing right here, triangle in the center, leaving those two gaps open. Square to the right, triangle, square. And then the last side right here, triangle in the center. Now right here, we can do the multi-TC build out for the breach peaks and the bunkers and all of that goodness. Start by placing a triangle like this and then going out seven squares like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then cap that off with a triangle. And then go ahead and delete everything back to the base, including that triangle. Then coming back here and placing half moons all the way back to the base. And this should create this beautiful three triangle gap right here. Go ahead and delete everything back. And this is how it should look with two gaps in these triangles right here and a small gap in be here. Replicate that on all the other sides. Same thing right here, triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a triangle at the end and delete everything back. Now half moons all the way back. Three triangles, upgrade all of those and delete everything back as well. Now last side, replicate this right on this third side. Triangle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a triangle. And then triangles all the way back. Just like this. Upgrade all of that and then delete everything back. Now before we wall in the shell, I want to do the external TCs on here so this cannot decay anytime soon. Start by going out a square and then another square, upgrading the second one to stone and the first one to wood. And then on the right side of the first square, go all the way back with triangles towards the base. Should look exactly like this. Then to the right, place a window, middle, double door frame, and then all the way around the same mirror. And then place a roof on top of here and upgrade all of this to stone. Then grab your window and your double door and seal in this entire gatehouse. 
is what it should look like. And then off of this, place a triangle just like this. Go ahead and upgrade this window to the right. And then a single door to the left. This little section in here is going to add a little bit more protection so it's not one door into your gatehouse. Now to create the actual external disconnectable TC, place a triangle like this and call it three squares. One, two, three. And then three triangles to the left, so one, two, three. Upgrade all of these. Keep this one to wood and then delete the rest back. Now make sure to have these two as half walls. Make sure they're not a full wall. Upgrade this corner. And then place your TC in this nice little corner and put a glass window over that. Now you can leave it at this and reconnect it with frames or you can build the entire disconnectable, which I'm gonna show you how to do right now. Wall this in and keep a single door. Upgrade all the walls and the roofs to stone. And then place a single door on top of that. Now connect everything back with frames just like this. And then upgrade, of course, these to stone or sheet metal. I actually do recommend sheet metal if you have it in the beginning of your wipe. So yeah, it's stronger and you don't have to upgrade it later in the wipe. But yeah, this is going to be the disconnectable TC connected to the multi TC. So this part will not decay. And if you don't do this and skip the video, this part will start decaying. But don't worry as it's a slow decay. So yeah, now let's replicate this on all the other two sides. Same thing here, two squares out, second one stone, first one wood. Two triangles out on the full sides. Window, double door, window, window, double door, window. Upgrade everything in here and then place a roof and seal that completely off. And then windows all around with two double doors on either side. Off the main double door, come and place the triangle. Window to the right, single door to the left. And then go ahead and seal that off. Now we're going to create the TC. So triangle to the left and then three squares out. One, two, three. And then three triangles just like this. Keep this to wood and delete everything else back. Now on this third triangle, create two half walls just like that. Once again, not a full wall. TC in the corner window and a glass window over that and then continue to wall in the rest of this TC single door on the front and you can seal that off just nice and tight now the last thing to do is connect back with frames just like this again you can do these to sheet metal if you do have the extra metal frags early in the white and then last side right here for the external and gatehouse one, two, second wood. Two triangles back. Just like this. Double door. And then triangles all the way back around. Then out the front again, do the little triangle airlock right here. And then last external TC on the side, three triangles out. Upgrade these, last square wood, delete everything back. Two half walls here. TC in the corner just like this. And then walls all the way around. Single door on the front, seal that bad boy up. And then last thing, seal everything back with frames back to the main TC. This is how it should look. I'll give a nice little aerial view. Now we can start sealing up the actual shell. Now we can come over to this side and start on all the breach peaks. So go ahead and place half walls all the way around right here. And then windows on top of here. And then place a triangle in the center just like this. And then two roof triangles inside just like this. This is how it should look. Now we can place a wall to the right and a wall to the left and upgrade these both. And then in the center on this triangle right here, place a double door frame 
Same thing right here, wall, and repeat this on every side. Now go ahead and place more half holes for this another breach peak. Upgrade everything here. Triangle in the center. Two roof triangles just like this. And your breach peak is set. Wall to the right. Double door in the center. Another wall. And then last side for the breach peak, just right here. Half walls plus windows on top of those. Triangle in the center. Two roof triangles just like this. And then wall to the right. Double door frame. Now go ahead and place double doors and window embrasures on all the breach peaks and the entrances into the base. Next step is adding the honeycomb onto the actual starter base, so go ahead and wall this triangle in right here. Do that on all sides. And the shell is actually one story, so you can start sealing in the roof and just creating the one story shell. Go ahead and start by placing these two triangles here, upgrading them, and then placing all of the other roofs on top of the spots where they need them. All the way around just like this. And it should all look like this. Now to seal in the breach peak, you want to place half walls all the way like this. And they should be reversed up hard side. And then seal in the roof on top of here. So when you go back into this, you should get a nice little head glitch peak up. And later this will all be sealed up, but for now it gives you a nice little roof peak up. Same thing here, hard side facing out two low walls, and then three triangles on top of these roofs. Last side, two low walls, and then three triangles on top of each side. I recommend upgrading this sheet metal too as well, just because the core can get rocketed for rocketed at any time. And yeah, you don't want them to be able to splash, so now it's at least eight rockets into your core. Now we're going to create the funnel next part, so this part can be a little bit confusing, so make sure to follow along really carefully. Start by placing a foundation and a triangle above it, and just making this into a nice little airlock single door. Single door there, and a window to the left. Now off the left side of the base, we can grab a square foundation and then build two more triangles off of that. Upgrade these both to stone and then delete that one. And off the left side, grab two more square foundations and build out two just like this, and then one triangle in towards the base. Upgrade that and delete the both squares. Same thing right here, two foundations, and then a triangle on the inside of the base just like that, and delete everything else. Now this is all your funnel is, and we can start by placing walls on the back side, putting double doors just like this, roofs on top of here, and then to the right and left side we can create this little cubby part by placing two half holes and then a roof on top of there. Same thing here, left side. Now we can place two double doors to seal off this little shell. And then you can place shotgun traps or a turret underneath here. Now after doing this, there's two last upgrades you need to do. Start by placing the turret pod, two half walls, and then roofs on top of here, sealing this in. And then to the right and left sides on these mini triangles, start by placing a double door frame and upgrading that to sheet metal or stone. This will be a chain link fence and this will be a turret pod for later. But you don't need to do anything else now, just mirror this exact structure on the other two sides. Now coming over to this front door, add another airlock on top of it, a little triangle airlock. Window to the right, single door to the left, boom, boom, and seal those up. And then grab a square foundation, place that on the left side, and then two squares just like that. Delete the full square, and then grab two more foundations just like this. Place the triangle into the left, upgrade that, and then same thing to the right, grab two more, and place that one triangle in there. Again, this is how it should look from above the base. Then go ahead and seal the walls in behind the funnel. And then the two double doors to seal it in with doors. Place those down. And then come out here and create the two little sections right here for the shotgun traps. This is how it should look for now. And then create the turret pod right here, two half holes. And then two more triangles above that. 
And then last thing on here, double door frame. Double door frame. And then we can move on to the last side for this. One more triangle here, create that little airlock. Left side, square foundation, two triangles just like this. Left side, two square foundations, and then a triangle in. Delete both of those. Same thing right here. Triangle in, delete both of those, and upgrade these both to stone. Again, this is how it should look from the air. Go ahead and wall in the back side of here. Frames on the front. And then double doors all the way around, just to seal in that side. Two half holes and a roof right here. Coming over to the side, doing the same thing. Two half holes and that floor. And then coming up to the top of these two triangles and adding the two half holes. And then sealing this in as a turret pod. And then last but not least, placing that double chain link down. And yeah, this is how it should look all the way around the compound from the aerial view. Now next, we're going to go back to the original gatehouse that we started with, with the disconnectable TC, and then we're going to upgrade it a little bit, place the barricades, and then we can place everything else, such as the compound walls. So yeah, come up here, place half height walls all the way up on top of here, and then seal in the roof just like this. Come down into the side. Section that off. This can be two boxes for drop boxes, and then this to the left and this to the right are going to be turrets. Make sure to make the half height peak as well with the front half wall, and then a wall above that. We'll see how it looks from the inside of here. If you take off the window, you'll get a nice little head glitch into the peak. Also, I recommend putting an inside horizontal embrasure and then a box below it. And then right here, place another double door. And then same thing here, place one last double door. This is how it should look from the outside. A little bit of an upgraded gatehouse, and then later we can place the barricades on, on top of here. But we need to upgrade the, all the other ones, so yeah, let's go do that. Coming over to here, the same type of thing. Upgrade this gatehouse. Upgrade all the roofs on top of here, and then section off this little part down here. More drop boxes, and then the two Patrico peaks on the bottom. Double door frame on the left and right side for the chain link, and then a turret can go inside both of these. This is how it should look. Same thing on the inside as well. Place the horizontal embrasures on the inside. And then last side right over here. Upgrade all of this. Two half walls inside of here. A ramp just like this. And then a half floor and a wall. And this is how it should look. Double door frame. And all of the gatehouses and all the funnels are created. Now we can start by placing the barricades on every single one of these gatehouses and funnels. And then we can place the compound walls down. I'll start by going to the main gatehouse and placing four triangles just like this out of twig. Makes it easier to place down the barricades. And then placing them pretty separated but at the same time make them as close as you can together. Should look like one. And right here, place as much quick buildup as you need. And just place one barricade in the center. Try and get it as center as possible. Come to this third one. Same thing right here. Delete all the twig buildup. Right here, single barricade in the center. And then last side on top of here. Single barricade in the center. And yeah, now that everything's done on the barricades, after I recommend placing the turrets in all the turret pods, and now we can place the compound furnaces and the compound walls down. And then once you have that first placement down, go ahead and place that. And then I like to place this one directly close as you can into the second. Just like this, I can get the furnace placement. That means you didn't mess up a singular wall. And then I like to place that down giving no gaps for any raiders to get in. Now next, make sure you do the same thing. Kind of placing it a little bit off the center of it. 
but also making it parallel to the left and the right. Place that down. And then place this a little bit off the door. The gap should be a little bit like the stone right here. And then you should be able to place a compound furnace pretty nice inside of here. Again, right here, another decent placement on there. Coming over again to this wall. Making sure it is a little bit off of that, but making sure horizontally it is parallel. And then trying to get it as close as you can to the other wall. And then trying that furnace out right in the center. Again, a perfect placement. Same thing right here. Second to last side right here. Again, place it the same way you've always been placing it. And then the last side, come to the left side of the gatehouse. Place it a little bit off of there. And try and get it as close as you can to the base. Again, check on all sides if you can't get through the furnaces. And yeah. And now that all the furnaces are placed and all the compound walls, I recommend placing the chain link and putting up all of the turrets in their respective spots. I'm going to show you what the chain link looks like on all sides. And if you don't have the BP for chain link, don't worry about it. I recommend placing the turrets before the chain link. That's what it should look like. You can also double chain link this one by putting another one right here and upgrading this. This is what it'll look like. So then if anybody breaches this side of the compound, they will have to go through a double chain link turret. But yeah, completely up to you if you want to waste more metal frags. But yeah, now that the entire compound is done, now we can expand up into the open core and then the shooting floor and the base is done. Now that we're on the open core part, now we can place a wall to the left and we're going to want to create the jump up up to the open core. So just like this. And then grab a garage door just like this. And inside this little shell inside of here, we're going to want to raise everything by a half floor. So just watch what I do for a little bit and copy it. Three half walls in the center just like this. Half wall here, half wall here, and half wall here. Now on these two triangles, place full walls just like this. Now on the right side of this triangle, you can place a window just like this. And then you can place a double door frame just like this. And then on top, seal those two in with roof triangles. Same thing right here. Right, window, left, place a double door. And then just like this for the rest. Now place the platforms you're going to be standing on. So just three triangles off of the main triangle. Gives it easier access to walk. And then place a double door frame on top of the half floor just like this. And then in the center, you can place three more double door frames just like this. And then underneath for now, you can start by placing the ramps. Just for more loot access. And you can also make this into a loot room. Create a shelf inside of here. And then if you want, you can start by placing your boxes, but I recommend sealing up the rest of the open core before you place any valuable loot up here. Next expansion, we can go out into the bunker, so start by placing a full wall to the left and the right side down here. And then placing floors off of here, just to seal off this entire place and giving a nice little run area to room. Same thing right here. Full walls all around. And then place the floors below you. And then last side right here, full wall, full wall, and then floors on top of there. Now on this side we can start on the bunker, doesn't matter which side you start on, but you're going to create all three anyway. Start by walling in the back side of here with all walls, and then sealing in this left side evening out the height of this by placing a half wall. 
And then we can start by placing the actual bunker walls. So on the front side, you're going to want to connect the front wall to the front side of this. And then this wall to the back side. So there should be a little offset between them. And then you can go ahead and upgrade those both. If you want to see what it actually looks like, you can see that the bunker does close by doing this. And then you can close it by doing that. So placing a roof triangle will override the stability. Next is placing the actual loot inside of here and sealing off the roof. So go ahead and place three triangles inside of here and upgrading all of these. And then two triangles off of this and leave this last one open as this one can be a little bit tricky to place. So you cannot kick it off of this one or else the bunker will close. So make sure to have the bunker open for this and go ahead and get it as close as you can to this triangle right here. And try and connect that to right there. And then when you upgrade that, there should be a little gap right here and the bunker still should be open. And you can test it by closing it and then reopening it again. And you did it correct. Again, this is how it should look. And then you can go ahead and place a full four box loot room inside of here. And then go ahead and place a garage door as well. And I'm going to seal that up and then we can go build the other three bunkers for now. Same thing right here. Wall in the back sides of all of this. Even out the height of the flat floors. Place the bunker walls, one on the front and then one on the back side of this. Again, there should be a little offset crack. Again, you could tell by if you do it correctly, this offset peak should remove it. Open it one more time and then come inside and place three triangles inside of here connected to the main. And then two triangles wherever you want and then one off of the main while you have the bunker open and then come up above here and make sure that this triangle is connected to this triangle right here you could test it by going down here and the bunker should be still open again place the four box loot room shelf inside of here and upgrade that and then put a garage door again in front of it go ahead and break that and then we could create the last bunker side right over here wall this fully in half walls on both sides wall wall offset should be in the center go ahead and open the bunker up and come inside of here three triangles on the roofs and then two triangles over here wherever you want and then should connect the actual triangle to the real triangle inside the bunker and it should stay open last thing is the four box loot room and then yeah you can unseal the bunker and all of your bunkers are completed on every side now the next step is expanding up into the jump up, so I recommend on this left side placing a window just like this, and do that on all the left sides of the triangles. So it should look like this, this is going to be a retake peek back into your open core. And then on the right side there should be a double door placed just like this. Boom, double door, boom, double door. So once again there should be a double door on the right jump up, and then a window on the left of all sides. Should look exactly like this. Now right here we can place a half wall and then we can face this hard side out and we're going to do the same thing on all the sides. Half wall, hard side facing out so nobody can soft side into your core. Then same thing here, hard side facing out as a half wall and then we can place roofs on all of these and just seal in the top of here. I like to upgrade this to sheet metal or armored as this is your main open core. And then dropping down into here, you can place half walls up here. And then I recommend above here placing more drop box loot with triangles. Here, I'm just going to seal this off with garage doors. And now I'm going to place windows over these. This is how it should look from the outside. Now the next expansion up first is very important as you're going to want to do the shooting floor and then your roof jump up. If you do the roof jump up and then the offset peaks, the offset peaks will not be able to place because you have the jump up here. It's very complicated, but don't worry, just do the shooting floor as I'm doing now. Now come down here and place double door frames all the way around down here. Upgrade these to sheet metal. And then come up back up here to the shooting floor and place a square floor frame just like this. And then two triangles to the right and left. They will go inside of the triangle a little bit but this is how the peaks actually do fully work. Now to the left and right sides on these frames, place windows, and then in the center place a half wall and then a full window. Should all combine look like this, and then now we can place the jump up to the roof, so go ahead and place a half wall and then a window just like this, and then a square just like that, and this will be the jump up. And then you can place your frame that will actually give you access into your shooting floor. This is what this entire section should look like. Great offset angles into your compound. Very good early game shooting floor. 
Now do the same thing right here. Place the shooting floor first and then do the jump up. Double door frames all the way down here. Upgrade it to sheet metal. Square floor frame. And then two triangles. Right and left side. And then the right and left side you can place windows. And then in the center place that half floor and a window. Just like this. Then to the right place that half floor and a window again. Place that floor right there. Upgrade everything inside of here. And then make that double door frame inside the shooting floor. Again, this is how everything should look inside of here. And then we can go over to the third side, which is the last side. Three frames down here as the last side. Square foundation in the center. And then to the left and the right place triangles just like this. Then windows on the right and left side. And then in the center, half floor and a window. And then another half wall window as the jump up. And then a floor just like that. And then two frames just for extra protection. Now that all this is completed, we don't have to build the jump ups to roof just yet. We can actually finish the shooting floor. Now next we can create the single door jump ups onto the actual roof that gives you a nice little reverse peak. Come over here and place single doors just like this. This should look just like this, hard side facing the actual outside. And then right here we can place a window and have this facing hard side towards you. Go ahead and do that on every side. Single door. Single door. And then a hard side facing out window on top of here. And then same thing on this last side. Single door. Single door. And then above us a window hard side facing out. Next behind us on the three triangles we can place windows facing outwards. This could be your like main shooting floor I guess or whatever you want to call it. And then go ahead and seal in the actual full triangles all the way in. And this is what it should look like in here. Just a nice little ring. Go ahead and do that on all the other sides as well. Three triangles all the way out with the windows. And then go ahead and seal this all in. Should look exactly like that. And then this last side. Everything the same. Three triangles on the roof. And then three triangles here. And seal everything in just like that. Now you can seal in the shooting floor if you would like. I would recommend doing that at this point. Should look exactly like that. Go up on top of here and seal in the rest of the shooting floor as well. And then last side right here. And even though you can't jump up or raiders can't get down, I recommend putting single doors as you can get shot at pretty easily if somebody lands on your roof with a mini. So yeah, go ahead and seal up all these single doors on every side. And then you can also place embrasures on the outsides. I like to place this as a bedroom because it could be a little nice pod. Now coming up to the roof, we have a few more things to do before the base is done, such as the inner bedrooms. So right here, we're going to place a wall to the right of us. A half wall like this. And then another wall behind us just like this. Double door frame just like this. Wall to the left. And then a double door frame out. And then you can place a square and a triangle just to seal off this roof. Now this section is going to be our two bedroom with a locker. So you can go ahead and seal that off. And then I recommend placing a horizontal embrasure. And this is going to be your ankle biter out. But yeah, as I said, inside of here, there is going to be two beds. And then right here can go a locker. And then you can seal this off with a garage door right here. You also have another ankle biter onto the roof right there. Now go ahead and do that exact same thing to the other sides. Same thing right here. Two double door frames just like this. Except on the inside of this one, this one can actually be walled around the triangle and you can have a battery or a locker inside of here. Same everything, but that triangle is the only difference. Go ahead and seal that off. Same with the ankle biter peak. And I recommend a battery inside of here behind a single door. Go ahead and seal that off. Double door frame, and then you can place two more 
beds just like this. This base can fit a lot of beds, including the compound. And yeah, this is the second to last side to do. Now coming over to this last side, you can see already the formation ready. Two double door frames, roof on top of here, half floor, roof. Same thing all the way around, double door frame. And then two beds can go right here. And then a horizontal embrasure just like that. Horizontal embrasures can go here as well. And yeah, now that inner bedroom part is all sealed up, I recommend placing this as well to sheet metal. And now there are only a few more things until this base is completed. Go ahead and shut all these single doors right here. And then you can place ramps just like this out of either stone or sheet metal. This will give you more protection when peeking up from the single door. So yeah, I like doing that just for now. And I like doing this on all sides. Make sure all the doors are shut or they will not be able to place the ramps. Now next you're going to want to drop down all the way back to your funnel right here and then you're going to want to build double door frames all the way up to the shooting floor. So it should be just like this and then you're going to want to place a full wall just like this. And then upgrade that to full stone. Go ahead and place a floor on there and then a floor on the roof just like this. So then it should grant a peek down into your compound but it should be a turret pod as well. I'll show you guys one more time again from the outside of the base two double door frames ups and then a full wall just like that. I'll show you one more time down here. Double door frame, double door frame, and then two high stacked. And then come up to the top and place a full wall on top of here, out of stone. And then a floor, and then another floor. Second to last side, drop down back down here. Double door frame, double door frame, double door frame, double door frame. And then last thing, two full walls. Floor on top of there, triangle floor to finish it off. And this peak's also really great because it holds that entire furnace compound, but it also holds outside the compound. So yeah. Then right here, you're just going to place the hut triangle roof section just like this. Go ahead and upgrade all of this to stone and do that on every side. And then last side right here for the little three triangle hut. And then the last roofing you're going to need to place on this roof is right here. And this is going to be a full square roof just like this. You can place it just like that. And it makes it easier on the sides of these triangles right here. Should look exactly like that. And then mirror that on the other two sides. Same thing right there. And then last side for both of these. And then lastly, right here. Now I'm going to go inside and place all these turrets just to show you exactly where they are. Three can go inside of here. Now these were all the turrets go. There should be a total of six on the roof, more than enough angles. Now the last thing, but certainly not least, is the windmills. This is the ultimate last thing you need to do. Off these three triangles, create two more off of this. Should look like that. And then go ahead and grab out your windmill just like this and place it very snug on top of here. Right on top of this little turret pod. Same thing here, place two more triangles off of the single one. Go ahead and place it and then last side two more triangles just like this and then go ahead and place that but other than that your entire base is complete i hope you guys did enjoy the vortex now i'll see you guys in next week's video thank you for watching